first stop in Hope. Turned out to be a pretty beautiful day. There's the rig. It's starting to rain. Kai's looking for his rain jacket. It started raining, of course, when we got here. So, ah, anyway, we're getting somewhere. All right, the rain stopped for a little bit. We got a bit of stuff. Daisy doesn't know what's going on. Oh, she's soaking wet. She's like, I want the wood stove on. Jane was super prepared. I like the four-star hotel better. I do. A little bit of gas. <laughs> Got the table. Talk to the green table. Tents kind of set up. <laughs> we should have brought more, more stuff. Yeah. I think we forgot a couple things. That's <laughs> <laughs> so the first morning. We uh, arrived late, so uh, we didn't go out this morning. Need to get a little organized firewood and stuff today. A little orientation. Kais is up though. How you doing, Kais? Good. Excellent. Yeah, a little tired from the trip. There's a uh, Daisy Duke. Uh, 
uh, with mum. I got a little cold in here last night, so she came out of La Crate and went, yeah, see, look at that. She got yeah. the hiccups. And then uh, here's her setup. I'll just show you a little bit of the area. These guys are uh, camped up the road, parked here because the road's pretty bad. There's Betty. Well, we have it set up pretty nice now. Our wash station, wash station here, and wood stoves are cooking. Nice supply of kindling, courtesy of Papa. There's our beds. Guys and I caught it in a while. And we hiked into this lake. We're checking quad access. Lots of sign. Lots of sign. There's a trail here. We're gonna follow it up. Just make sure we have quad access. Here we're at Moose Lake, and uh, we just had a little bit of an experience. What just what happened, guy? Um. After we were like two minutes away from our stand in the swamp, we were walking away for two minutes and well, we looked back in the middle of the field and we seen this brown thing. It was really big and then it standed up and it was a bear. And, and then we put our hand up and waved them and it ran away. Was it a big bear? It was a big, big bear. A grizzly? Yeah. Yeah. It was like three of me stacked on top of each other. <laughs> but it was all pretty good, safe. It was all in the open. Okay. Well, that was like some excitement. We're going to come back to Moosey Lake. Well, we've been here a couple hours. We've got nothing, but it's really windy. Hard for them to hear our calls and hard for us to hear them sneaking up so but we're going to give it another hour it's noon we do this to one we'll be back tomorrow but earlier um, we enjoyed some scrambled eggs some freeze-dried scrambled eggs with a jet boil i'm just uh whoo, making some coffee now and uh caius is out on the secondary shooting tree Huh? See, I almost brushed my teeth. See, Kais is brushing his teeth. Other than just a kick-ass fun dad, I am responsible once in a while. <laughs> and he, he will brush his teeth in a quality way today. And there he is out at the hunting blind brushing his teeth. I just had some scrambled, bandito scrambled. Freezing our asses off. I can tell you that. <coughs> But um, hoping that weather, Mom said, comes through, sunny, cloudy, because it's still, you know, it's still snowing. Guys has got pretty good get up on though. Other than his steel toes on his boots, which now are froze his toes. But uh, he's okay. We've put some hot packs in the toes. So, anyways, stay tuned. Yeah, that's what 
you talking about? Well, we're all set up. Our gear's under the tarp. We got Caius' uh, earmuffs. The guns. We've made a couple alterations. We made a shooting bar. Caius and I made this. Spotting scope's not tall enough, so we just strapped it. Caius is looking for a moose. He's a good spotter. He um, <clears throat> spotted a legal bull yesterday in the distance, but it was getting too late in the day. We couldn't go after it. So this is the area that we're we're calling in. Starter. Let it light up. Better than Nookie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gold when you're cold. Imagine if you were stranded overnight. Like, yeah. We got like some paper. And we have some fuel. Sherry, going out for the night bite. Because I gotta stay back with Tyus. Minus two, here she goes. Locked and loaded. Yeah, she started by almost running into my truck. Oh my god. Tuesday morning. And uh, I've decided to uh, take the, the truck today. It's snowing about eight inches so far. And uh, yeah, thought I'd stay warm in the truck. I've been freezing my ass off of the quads. So is Caius, but uh, he stayed back this morning. Have a little sleep in, fair enough. I felt like it too, but we need to get to moose. Oh, this is totally crazy. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be stopping. Got some snow off the roof. Dad's out hunting in the truck. And we're just watching movies sitting by the wood stove, hoping that this will stop before we have to leave. Oh, pretty cool though. Wednesday morning, quadding. You having fun? Yeah. You like the snow? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty deep. I'm going out to find a snowy moose. Come back, get snowed out. Let's get a little. <laughs> Day after 
big snowstorm. We're out trying to see. Oh, guys, he's coming up the road. She's snowy. He's, this road was pretty much beaten down yesterday, but that's how much it snowed all night last night. I think Kaius is having a little too much fun. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Um, he thinks he's skiing. <laughs> we tried it in two wheel drive, it doesn't go very well, so just learning how to handle that baby. <laughs> subject to see how nice people are. He's gonna stand in the middle of the road like he's doing and he's not moving so he's doing a perfect job and he's gonna let everybody go by him and see if everybody goes by him or hits him. What do you think? I think people are gonna go around him. I think so too. But I think one person is gonna go Yo! yeah, <laughs> and he's gonna explode. Okay we'll have to come back tonight and find out. I love it. My snowman's gone. It's gone completely. We left gone. it for like five minutes. Yep. And some there's no, there's no decided to run right over him. You know what? No, people aren't nice. There's no re resemblance anywhere. Is the weird thing. You can't even like see it. There's like no snow knocked over. No, nothing. Nothing. All right. I'm out on the road. I'm gonna go look for Kylan and Boss Daddy. Hopefully they've got a moose. We've got three days left, so we're like totally under the wire right now. No pressure, no pressure. This is what I'm driving on. Which this part of the road's actually pretty good. I don't like going over this bridge over the Wapiti River. It freaks the crap out of me. More tracks. Those are big moose feet. Spectacular scenery, like I would just love to come back here. So I ditched the truck and I'm super really mad at myself. Uh, thankfully, there was these two guys up the road. I got Jane and Caius on the radio and we're gonna try to winch this baby out. I'm totally embarrassed. And there's like seriously like a road washout river underneath the truck right there. We have some more artillery. Yeah, I just put her in four low and just, just help us. Okay, they got us out. Thank goodness. The truck seems to be okay. And no one seems to be very mad at me. Still one heavy. About eight, nine inches. Just sit here calling. But nothing yet. Not you gonna stay here? Yeah. By yourself? Um, yeah. Why? So I can get a moose. I know. How many moose did you and Dad see? Three. How many did I see? Oh, are you talking about yesterday or all together? Like all together? Uh, we seen four. How many did I see? Four. How many did we get? Zero. <laughs> How much are probably we go? How much did we see again? Probably all four of mine. Oh uh, yeah, probably I all four see. of yours and then two of ours. Mm -hmm. But we did the right thing and we didn't shoot because we weren't 100%. Mm -hmm. So you're sad to go? And I, and I shot at a grouse with, her, with, with no scope on my 22 and I missed. And I thought I only had one shot. And then I, knew I had four more shots. So what was the most favorite part of your trip? Um, I think it was you jumping in the back of the truck because you heard a moose. <laughs> I kind of skipped that part in my commentary, but yes, I did. Okay. It was snorting. Yeah, but like, it's a moose. Give a gun. Be afraid of you, not you afraid of it. 
It was close and it just like surprised me. So you get out of the passenger seat and run fast as you can into the back of the truck? Yeah. I watched it. I followed it. It was all good. Just <laughs> no. making sure. Cliff told me he did a call once on the side of the road and a moose charged him. Yeah. Why did you call in the same spot? I know. He told me. You never do that. But I didn't know my call actually worked. But apparently <laughs> it did. Calling then? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and you saw Grizzly Bear? Are we seen this. You seen, you seen some tracks? They're like that big. Wow. Like, like huge. And so the road that you saw that grizzly track on, or the tracks. There's a bunch of moose tracks. Right. But on that road was the biggest track he's ever seen in his life. And they are big. Wow. You think he's about 15 feet tall when he goes on his two legs. Wow. Thank God. We've seen we where he see slept it. for the night. Yeah. Big bed. Big bed, bed, bed. Wow. So what are all the animals that we've seen on this trip? Grouse, moose, bear. White tail. White tail. And we've seen goat. Go, 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 go. Oh, yes. Go, go. Yeah. Um, and how come you guys couldn't get a goat on this trip? Because they're really high up. Yeah. And the quad ride is really, really long and really, really bumpy. Yeah. And if we got one, like, uh, no. This wouldn't have worked. So you guys are going to apply for a different area next time? Yeah. I'm going for Bootski. Bootski? Cool. Awesome. Are you sad to go? Yeah, me too. And you've quadded in rain, snow, snow slush, slush hail. hail. Nice. Yeah. Air. Yeah. Okay, finally, we have finished our packing and we're ready to go. Just having one last celebratory drink. Same time, same place next year. Woohoo!